CGI video. I hope it turns out okay for you guys. But so I'm gonna skip on and go straight to the go straight to the guide part. Either way, the basics. You need lots of Max Repels. I'm running out, so I'm gonna have to go to the Pokemon League soon to get more money for Max Repels. And yes, as usual, the Poke Radar. Best to have it on register, so you can always use it right away. Never you go onto your bike while you're in a chain link. By the way, that can br that breaks your chain link instantly. Trust me, I've had it in loads of bad spots. But in either case, about the chaining now. Yes, it's like those areas, like the middle spot where you are, the just the grass, just on the outline of you. That's like number one. I'll give up a picture for the bit. And like second area, say like one, two, three, one, two, one, two, like all the way around. Then another layer just around it for number two patch areas. I'll just use the radar. You see, there's patch one, two, uh, two and three. I didn't see patch four. I'll start my radar. In either case, you saw them. You saw their types. See, there's one, two, three, and four. The fourth patch, say like when you start, you count like one, two, three, four. Say with this line here, as long as you count one, two, three, four, that means you're still in the fourth line. If you count four in from the middle to any direction, going that way or that way, as long as you're in the middle area, count four going that way, blah, blah, blah. You always make it with that one, that patch being there. Well, that's the thing. I uh, set the picture up, but I have a case now for the uh, patch difference. I allow you to keep chaining. I'm gonna do this with a shinx because, as you can see, I am very good at chaining shinx, and that's a one very good reason. This Pokemon right here, Raichu. Oops, why am I? Oh, that's right. <laughs> right, you. Yes, you're going to need it at a high level and make sure it has some decent moves to work on electric types. The point is the best because of its ability here, static. That gives you a 50% chance of the next Pokemon you run into being an electric type. That's why it's best to do Pokemon like Shinx in this area of the grass because he is the only electric Pokemon here. So, like this. You see this one down here? That was like a slow moving grass with a dot in it, right? Let's start it. And what is it? A bee doof. Okay, we'll go with that then. That's not going to be good with a right here in front. But, I'll switch it. In either case, the key about chaining is to like is defeat or catch the Pokemon to continue the chaining. You run away, the chain will break. Trust me, I had trouble with that with a Porygon chain link. Um, sorry, I didn't see the patches, so I'll just restart my radar. Oh crap! Oh right, uh, sorry. One last thing I forgot to say. Say like um, uh, let me just restart. Get my radar ready. Say like you restart your radar here. This area right here, if you go out of range of that, keep your eye on, uh, hold on. This patch here. The patch is right there, go out of range. Okay, I'm still in the chain. Oh well, let's stuff it. Sorry, I just can't see patches that well through my cam. Okay, then take the sparkly patch for for instance. Sparklies, I always use them, especially on Shinxes. Sparkly patches are more likely to bring out odd Pokemon. More or less any Pokemon. So I find them easier. And they're a lot easier to spot as well. To start off your chain link, yes, you defeat, find your Pokemon you want to chain, and that. 
but it doesn't matter where you start. You saw there, no sparkly patches. But where you start in a chain link does not matter. Oops! And there's a perfect example about the bike. Sorry about that. I hate myself. Can't believe that happened. Okay, I gotta stop my radar. I'm sorry about this, guys. See, here's another sparkly patch. The ride through the front, and that makes Cricketoo. Darn! I hate chaining at the night time with these Pokemon around. Fine, Cricketoo will do. Blah blah blah. But either case, it doesn't matter where you start your chain link. As long as the patches are the right types, like fast moving patches with like no dot in the middle or with a dot, slow ones without or with, as long as you keep going in the same type of grass in the fourth area, you're more likely to succeed, as you saw it with me with those. See? Four sparkly patches. That one down there. One, two, three, four. This one here is bound to be a cricket too, and to make the chances a bit higher, I'm not having a static Pokemon in front. Uh, you know what, I'm going to use my new Porygon, even though he's weak. And voila! I would continue all the way to the end, but I don't really like this Pokemon that well. And besides, that'd take a long time and I don't have much time on my tape. I'll go through what I said and that'll be the end of the video. Get my radar ready. Okay. Match repels. Make sure you have a lot. Make sure you have the pokey radar ready. Make sure you have compatible Pokemon to fight. Or if you need to, have like a Pokemon like Sceptile to have a full swipe to weaken your Pokemon the wild one into one hit point to catch. And then the patches. Find a patch, like this one right here. Not a sparkly patch. It was a fast moving patch with a dot in the middle. I always seem to go for them. I made to a 9 on right on Eevees today. I want I need those shinies. Oh yeah, one last thing about when going into the patches. Yes, as it says, it doesn't matter which patch you start off with or where it is. Well, it's when your chain has started. When your chain has started... <coughs> God, I hope this isn't going wrong. Um, then it matters. Make sure your patch you're going for, if it's the right type, but it's next to a wall, or an edge, or say like... If, if it's in the fourth area, Make sure it's not against a wall, an edge, or another patch. Well, another patch. God, I hate what's in this radar. Okay, now we're close together there. But in either case, I've told you guys all I really know to tell you the truth. Sorry I'm not more helpful to people out. Because I've said the basics and I said them hopefully in easier terms than other people do. The picture will pop up after this. Goodbye. <laughs>